Hello, everyone. My name is Major General Gary Brito, Commanding General of the Maneuver Center of Excellence in Fort Benning. Over the weekend, I published a short letter regarding a high number of positive COVID-19 cases we had recently. I'd like to take a few minutes to follow up with you to assure you that we take this matter very seriously and have committed all available resources towards staying ahead of this and keeping, keeping everything under control. Over the last 72 hours, we had 142 positive COVID-19 cases on Fort Benning within our training population. Upon notification of the first positive case, testing of about 640 soldiers and cadre from the 30th AG Reception Battalion and Echo Company 229 Infantry occurred. Once these tests were administered and the results received, we were able to determine who needed to be isolated due to their positive results and who needed to be quarantined due to their possible exposure. We have separate lodging for those in isolation and for those in quarantine. Each soldier has a bed, meals, water, latrines, and we have push entertainment packages from the USO, board games and things like that. Also team, each soldier will have access to the cell phones and should be able to get in contact with their loved ones. The same level of care applies to our Fort Benning cadre. All personnel, whether in isolation or quarantine, receive medical checks, and can only be cleared to return to training by medical professionals no earlier than 14 days and after a second test shows a negative result. To date, no one who has tested positive has required hospitalization. Quite frankly, most is showing relatively mild symptoms. The immediate actions of medical personnel, drill sergeants and cadre, coupled with the processes and procedures in place, prevented further spread among the training population. Now team, as we move forward, we will continue to screen, monitor, and test in accordance with CDC guidelines and our internal medical practices. Our priority and my priority is protecting the health of the force while we continue to train soldiers to fill the ranks of our army. That force includes those that we train and our very own cadre and civilians that support that training. A little context, since March, mid-March, we have trained about 11,000 personnel, of which about 7,900 of those have graduated and moved on to their first unit of assignment, or they will shortly. We are expecting about 1,000 new future soldiers soon, and you can rest assured that each soldier will be greeted, screened, tested, and monitored for a minimum of 14 days, and tested again before, before training with the respective training unit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our Army's most important resource is our soldiers, and we all take our business very seriously. To the drill sergeants, cadre, and your families, I appreciate your commitment, duty, and your support. To the parents and loved ones, thank you for supporting your sons and daughters' decision to serve. Now, team, despite the threat of COVID-19, we can and we will execute our mission of training the best for our Army. Thank you, and have a safe week.